And as churches prepare to reopen this Sunday, some are devising innovative means of complying with the 100 congregation limits imposed by President Ekofuando while ensuring that the virus doesn't spread. The Royal House Chapel International, for instance, plans to run a service where congregants are invited instead of the traditional way of people showing up on the day of worship. Its leader, Reverend Sam Crunchy Ankara, who doubles as the vice chair of the Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Council, spoke at a ceremony where Gavin presented PPEs to some churches. Mami Senior Mitchell Thompson reports. Ahead of Sunday, government has presented Veronica buckets, face masks, hand sanitizers, soap, washing bowls and little bins to help the churches observe the protocols announced to keep the virus at bay. Local government minister Haja Alima Mahama, who made the presentation on behalf of government, asked the churches to ensure persons attending service are made to wash their hands before worship to help stop the spread of the virus. Key within the guidelines was the washing of hands. As you enter and as you depart was the washing of hands. So he sent us to bring you a donation, a token donation. We know your churches are many, but this is a token. And he's presenting to you 7,000 pieces of sets, 7,000 sets of Veronica buckets, 7,000. For Christian Council of Ghana, they will be taking 2,000, set of 2,000. For the Ghana Catholic Bishop Conference, they will be taking 1,000. For the Independent Churches of Ghana, 500. The National Clergy Association of Ghana, 100. Seven-day Adventist Church, 500. National Association of Charismatic Churches Council, 800. Ghana Pentecostal Churches Council, 2,000 and the United Prayer Network 500. First Vice President of the Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Council, Reverend Sam Crunchy Ankara, who is also the General Overseer of the Royal House Chapel, received the items on behalf of the churches. On behalf of the Christian community uh, in the nation, uh, the nation because we are told that some of the items are going to the districts. So we are going ahead to thank His Excellency, uh, the President, um, the leadership of this nation, and particularly the Ministry of Local Government, uh, and then the uh, Common District, the Common Fund District Office. Uh, thank you so, 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 so much for your sensitivity and uh, your leadership uh, in providing these items, which we definitely need in this time as the restrictions uh, on churches and social gatherings are lifted. He said his church, for instance, will invite worshippers as a means of keeping to the rules. My church sits about 5,000 every Sunday morning. Uh, it, it's so difficult. It's, that's a challenge for the mega churches. Uh, we are still figuring how we are going to do that. Uh, I think that the consensus is that uh, all of us will be inviting people to attend the services. No, by invitation, uh, a phone call will reach you from the office. Hello, uh, so so and so. Um, would you like to be in services? And, oh, yes. Um, you have been selected to be one of the 100 members that will be in church. You know, so uh, we'll be doing that. Um, uh, that's the only way. That's the only way. And then, and then we will ra run multiple services, maybe first, second, three services maximum. If you go four, five, six, uh, the pastor will be exposing himself too much. Okay you know, in the open and, and for the virus and for infection. So one hour, one hour, one hour, three services uh, should, be, should be fine. So Royal House Chapel, um, this week and uh, next week, um, I am putting in place some of the protocols. Um, uh, disinfectation of the place, uh, provision of some of these things that have come um, for um, to get them really, really, really uh, ready. But for prayer services, this we are starting from this Sunday. On behalf of the Muslim sect, Sheikh receives their portion and thanked government. On behalf of His Eminence, the National Chief Imam, and also the representative of the leaders of our various sects and Muslim organizations in Ghana, we would like to render 
a very sincere and profound gratitude to you, to His Excellency the President Nana Dodanko Akufado, for this wonderful, wonderful gesture uh, of uh, support to religious bodies. Uh, this tells us that uh, the President, as he always indicates when he comes to us to address us, that he, he so much attaches importance to uh, this COVID, to the eradication of this uh, pandemic. Uh, and the Muslim community are solely behind him.